So, you want to load, but you also want to screen. Well, I can help you out with both of those things if you keep watching the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 EV once again, taking a look at how to make a loading screen. Not like loading docks, like when you go to like places and they have like fish there, not like that, because that's nasty and smelly, like loading screen, like when you're loading something and it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. So, uh, that's what we're doing. And just real quick before I get started, I want to thank you guys for all the support on the videos. And I, I want to say that if I haven't been able to answer the comments as fast as possible recently, it's because there's so many comments now that it's just really hard to get through them all. So if I don't answer you super quickly or right away, then I'm, I, don't, I don't hate you. I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I'm just, it just takes a long time to get through comments now, guys. So I just, I just want to say that. Anyway, we're going to use default cube today, which is super good for him because he's been feeling left out lately. We're going to go ahead and go to the, the Modifiers tab over here on the right-hand side and add a modifier of Wave. And now when we play our animation, you can see it does like this, which is close to what we want, but not exactly. No bueno. I'm going to hit uh, Tab to go into Edit Mode, and I'm going to right-click. Actually, sorry. I'm going to Tab to go into Edit Mode. Wait, wait. All right, don't know, don't know what happened there, but my, my keyboard just decided to change colors a bunch of times and then just do some weird stuff. Anyway, we're going to move on. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. <laughs> okay, just works all of a sudden. I'm going to right click and hit subdivide one, two, three, four times. That's quite a lot, but it's going to be fine. Um, hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Boom. Now you can see when we play this, it does something a little bit different except, instead of it going all up and down at the same time. I want to change a couple of these settings, though. I'm going to change the narrowness up to about maybe let's do four. Yep. Yeah, now my keyboard has no light, so I can't see anything at all, by the way. Um, so you, we'll, we'll just get through this tutorial today, okay? Um, then we're going to change the width because it's going uh, a, little, a little crazy right now. So I'm going to change it to about 2.5. I'm going to change the speed down because it's going too fast uh, to about maybe point, point 0.10. Point 0.10 is fine. Point 0.1. Um, and then I'm going to change the height way up. So we're going to do something like 0.86, which is fine for that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit R. I can't see my keyboard at all. Wow, it's just super dark with no lights on. RX90 on my numpad and then enter to hit confirm oh my god this is this is painful guys this is literally painful my keyboard is solid black right now okay um i'm going to go to the the, the we're gonna down we're gonna close this up here by hitting a little arrow and then add another modifier of the subdivision surface and now you can see we've got something like this i'm all gonna hit uh object shade smooth now we got a smooth 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 boy um now i'm you might want to turn this down if your computer can't handle it or just hide it all together by hitting this little button right here for now When you render it make sure you turn that back on actually you don't have to because as long as you leave this one on it will render so We're good to go. I'm gonna leave mine on because my computer can handle it So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my start frame to zero and my end frame to oh my god I can't see anything 50 is that a five yeah 50 <laughs> This is bad, guys. I gotta fix this. Um, to, to 50. So now we have this, which is nice. But before we do any animation, I want to change the, um, the 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 scene tab here, and I want to change our frame rate to 60. Now, boom. We play this. You can see it looks all nice and smooth, like that 60 frames per second. Everybody always loves, you know. Um, very cool stuff. Now, because we changed the speed, it's not exactly perfectly looping. So I'm gonna have to change our in frame up just a little bit. So I want to start. Actually, it's not starting flat. That's a problem right there. So I need it to start flat so we can fix this by just hitting the offset up just a little bit. So I'm going to change the offset to whatever the, the flat one is. So about 16.8. And then we're going to end it on a flat as well. So right here is flat. So we might as well just end it on 40. Is that a four? Yeah, it is. Four, zero. Wow, I am hitting I'm, I'm hitting the perfect keys and I can't see anything. I literally can't see anything. It's not like I can't, I can't see anything at all. Um... <laughs> every single key is literally solid black i have no idea oh man um sweet so we play this now you can see it will loop uh which is nice which is how i want it super cool stuff now if i hit zero to go into the camera's view the camera's up here i don't want that so i'm gonna select the camera by clicking it and hit alt g that is g and then alt r oh man i'm good and then rx 90 to rotate uh 90 degrees on the x-axis then hit enter to confirm that then hit G, Z, and then double tap Z to move the camera backwards. Oh my god, I just did that without even, oh wow, that was awesome. Anyway, 
move the camera back to about right there left click to confirm now we have this cool looking thing now last thing we got to do is super simple grab the world tab here change the color to solid black or you can do white you can do whatever really you want to it doesn't 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 matter that much um actually but black does work the best for this particular thing i'm gonna go to rendered viewport shading up here at the top and we can literally leave it like this but i want to do a little bit more to it so i'm gonna grab our light um and i'm gonna turn off subsurf now that we have it on rendered viewport shading because it's getting a little bit of lag now so there we go all right now now that's the speed that i wanted that's what it that's what i really wanted all right cool now with our light i'm gonna grab that hit alt g alt that wasn't G, that was H. I just hit it. Okay. Alt G, Alt R. Perfect. Now the light is inside of our cube. I'm going to hit G, Y to move it uh, forward just like that. And I think the speed might be a little bit too fast. So let me go ahead and just modify that real quick. We can just do that super simply just by changing the speed down to about maybe point zero one, And then we, of course, have to also change the in frame so that now it, it ends um, the way that it is now this is super slow but I kind of like the way that looks to be honest with you so we'll do like that perfect uh, ending on 175 there it loops perfectly now um, actually we'll pull it up a little bit more maybe just to 185 sweet zero to go back into the camera's view now you can see with our with our um, uh, lamp selected we can kind of move this around to get different effects so I can move this backwards into the cube to get something that looks like that, which looks really cool. If I put smooth, actually, I'm sorry, not smooth. If I turn the subsurf back on, it looks much more smooth, even though it's going to lag. Um, you can get some really cool effects depending on where you put this lamp. So if I put it down here at the bottom right and kind of move it up a little bit, we get something that looks like this. Really cool. My main thing that I'm trying to get to occur is that it starts and ends on solid white like this. That's what I'm trying to get. And then the, the black kind of comes out of nowhere is what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to go for today. Uh, Alt G. Yeah, I can't see anything. All right, cool. Uh, we'll put it about righty there. We can change the, we can grab the, the light and change the color of it to easily change the, the tone and the feel of the scene here. Very cool. We don't even have bloom on yet, and yet it looks like there is bloom somehow. Not sure how, because your eyes are just blurry, I guess. But we're going to turn bloom on finally, and there, now, that's super bloom. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Intensity can go down quite a bit. Uh, very, very cool. Okay, uh, on frame zero, I'm going to hit I and hit rotation. That's, wait, wait huh? yeah, oh, that was right, okay. And then on the last frame, I'm going to hit I, rotation. Then on frame 90, I'm going to hit, oh, where's R? R, Y, 90 on my numpad. Left click to, left click to confirm, then hit enter. And then, yeah, that, 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 that didn't put a keyframe. Okay, so we're just, we're do that again. All right. Oh, that's why, what am I saying? Because the thing's a freaking circle. That's why it's not, it doesn't look like it's doing anything because in the center, it's a circle. So it actually literally is rotating right now. But I just can't. Okay, well, it's not rotating because I'm wrong still. All right, so you can rotate this. R, Y. There we go, Y. Um, so about right there. Then just hit I, rotation. Now you can see it. it is rotating very strangely, but it's rotating. Um, and that looks like this. You can barely tell um, because the, the center where it's doing a lot of rotation, it, it turns into a circle temporarily. So that looks really cool too. I like that quite a bit. I'm going to leave that. But, uh, but yeah, where's the G? Where's G at? Where's my G key? That's not it. That's not. None of those are G. Those are, that, okay, that was H. All right. Well, we're just going to not move the camera backwards. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm oh, there's G. Okay, I got you. I, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. I got to fix my keyboard. I don't know what the freak I just did. I've never once changed the color of my keyboard before. Didn't even know you could do that, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, so I, I just did it and all lights turned off after. Yeah, okay, sweet. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.